a lot of us think about nature as a portrait landscape or a very quiet and serene uh, landscape. And really, nature is at its healthiest when it's in motion. So you want the motion of animals, of birds, of bugs, of worms, of microorganisms, all part of the cycle. By moving animals in a nomadic grazing method that we do, we're creating that motion within our environment or within the ecosystem that we're trying to create. The more movement that you create, the healthier the land becomes, the healthier the animals in turn become, which leads to healthier people. It's very hard sometimes to describe the impact that these techniques have had on the land. And really seeing is believing. The really cool thing about being here at the property is that you can literally see the difference between us and neighboring plots of land. There's been a lot of urban development out here. People who have had the same land and the same microclimate as we are, but with their land looking very different than ours. And the only difference is that we're running animals in this strategic nomadic grazing technique. You can see this on Google Maps if you want to. You can go to Google Maps and look at our property compared to surrounding property and you're going to see more lush, green, dense areas and an overall vibrant color from the land than you're going to see in neighboring areas. Birds are another good indicator of seeing as believing. Birds can fly wherever they want to. The fact that a bird is coming to your property is telling you something inherently about the health of the property. As we've taken over this land, we've seen a number of bird species come back to the area that we haven't seen in the last 10 to 15 years. Our role as land managers is to step back and listen for all the notes that nature's trying to play, and then to try and help orchestrate a beautiful symphony of notes that looks and sounds like healthy ecosystems, healthy soils, and ultimately healthy meats to share with our customers.